Hi guys, welcome back in the Langa Studios official channel. As always, I am Andrea and as you may have noticed, I'm Italian. And how do we represent Italy in a video? That, that's impossible. In a single video, it's impossible. It's a titanic undertaking. And also, if the video has to be short, how do we do? So let's take the video of today because we thought of various solutions to be adopted. The client in this case was a travel agency which was uh, uh, aiming to organize tours in Italy. Their intent was to make a video written in Italian and dubbed in English. So the main concern was about finding the right images. The client provided us with a series of photographs and video clips. So we have made a selection and we chose a few. As for the final result, on the other hand, after reflecting for a very long time about uh, the right type of video that we have to make, we agreed that uh, in order to make static and moving images as much as possible, the best solution is to create a typography video with quick writings and quick transitions. So we show you how we made one of the transition within the video manually. We started with a mosaic blur on the image, which practically gives us a color palette. So we adjust the density of the mosaic a little and add a little further blur that never hurts in order not to have the shape of the boxes so defined. So what is the movement now that we want the images to make? Let's say a nice zoom out. So let's put the key points in the timeline and adjust the fluidity of the movements with the curves. And in addition to this zoom, I would say let's get some dynamism by acting on the rotation and with a little movement on the image. So let's make it twist a bit. There is an effect that can help us but only if we use it with the dropper because it has to be light. It's the displacement map. So what does it do? It distorts the image in the way we want for a few seconds. Here too there are the curves that help us to get the movement that we like. So we decided to get this distortion a little bit faded by starting in heavily and make it fade slowly in quotation marks. And as usual, let's fasten our belts and throw ourselves into the dangerous curves to make it adjust in the way we want. Then we circumscribe the effect so that the distorted image is somehow framed by itself. Now let's put the writing in the middle clearly visible in the center and with a small spacing effect between characters which is always managed by the curves and finally we coordinate the writing with the rotation effect we inserted at the beginning and with the zoom out and our transition is complete. Now I will not show you the final result but here's every slide with this effect applied because I really like it so enjoy!